Hey, it's Pastor Rick here, and I have a special guest to bring a little holiday cheer, my dog Sammy, and we're here to talk with you, I guess I'll be doing the talking, about this year's Christmas offering. It's so vital, the Christmas offering, to Richmond Community Church. It's just for RCC to do what we need to do. This offering is just uh, crucial in our mission. And so I just wanna share with you briefly the three projects that we're gonna be doing. Number one, we wanna put a new sign on the outside of the building. For years, people have said to us, the, the sign isn't prominent enough, people drive by and don't see it, and we wanna put a new anodized aluminum sign we're gonna fix it right to the building quite large and make it easy to see. So we'll, be able to do that through your generous giving. The second is just the aspect of repairs and replacements of equipment. We've replaced, I don't know how many computers this year, I lost count at maybe four or five. Lighting had to be replaced, it continues to be replaced. There are repairs, it's just an ongoing thing that has to happen when you have a large building and you have a lot of, uh, a lot of equipment and because we have the, the ministry that reaches so many more people than just here at the Glenelg campus through the broadcast and so forth. And so we need funds above the normal budget to be able to help us to do that. And then the third is just the issue of reserves and debt to just be able to be where we need to be financially. This offering is vital to help us to do that. Again, all above our normal budgeted expenses. So please be considering praying about what are you going to give to Jesus for his birthday on Christmas? We really need your help. We need everyone from RCC to participate in this offering, which begins this Sunday, December 10th, and will continue throughout the month of December. But it starts this Sunday, and we'd love for you to give. Of course, you can give at the services. You can give online. You can text to give using the keyword Christmas. You can give uh, in so many different ways, send checks in, however you want to give, it all will end up in the Christmas offering. And then we need large gifts. We, we can't reach our $100,000 goal just with, with, with uh, giving without large gifts. We've got to have large gifts. I'm excited to say we've already gotten one, so we're off to a good start. But we probably need three or four more of those gifts to help us get there. So please, if you're a business owner, if you've received an inheritance, if, you, if your stocks have increased with the way the market's gone up this year and you find yourself with some extra funds, which would be a great tax write-off because all the increased capital gains you wouldn't pay if you gave it to the church. So if you can help us with the large gift, we certainly appreciate and we're hoping that the funds will come in that will launch us into a great new year in 2018. The, the reach of this church continues to expand. Now Facebook Live has again put us in front of hundreds more people. We're reaching thousands and thousands of people. It is an incredible ministry we have here. It's a special ministry that needs to be supported. So please consider how you can give to the Christmas offering. We're looking forward to our Christmas Eve services. Certainly this year Christmas Eve is on Sunday, which is unusual. So we'll have an 11 o'clock in the morning service and then a 4 and 5 o'clock in the afternoon service. 45 minute services like we've always had. Love to have you come and be inviting your friends to come as well. And we'll finish off this year with the New Year's Eve service, which will be great as well as we set up for 2018. So please be thinking and praying about what you can give to the Christmas offering. Thanks.